we're going to learn the fastest way to run AI town locally on your local computer. For that, we are going to use a software called Pinocchio. So this software, Pinocchio, is going to be an one-click installation for a lot of LLM and AI tools. All you have to do is go to Pinocchio website and then start downloading your respective version. So in my case, Mac, I've downloaded the Mac Pinocchio. After you download, put it inside your applications. After that, you have to do the patch. If you want to check what is in the patch, you can always open and check it. After you have successfully installed everything, then the next step is for you to open Pinocchio. So Pinocchio is the software that is kind of a window for you to use a lot of AI applications in just one click. It has got a gallery of applications. The first time you open it, it is going to ask you to set the home folder and then what kind of theme you want. If everything is fine, go ahead and then save the settings. Once you save the settings, then the main interface of Pinocchio is going to open. The discover page is where you're going to see the gallery of applications, AI town, custom net, these models, like it's not even just LLMs. You also have image models, stable diffusion models, everything. We are interested about AI town. So install AI town and for Pinocchio to work fine. These are the softwares that it needs and it itself is going to install all the required softwares in your computer. It is going to take a while and during this exact time, I'm going to also show you what the AI town demo that we are talking about. This is a very popular demo, probably like, I guess six, seven months back, everybody was crazy about it. But back then you needed GPT-4 key or GPT-3.5 key for you to have the ability to run. But today, thanks to Olama and thanks to also all the quantized models that we have got, this demo is going to use a Llama 3 on your local computer. If you have got enough compute, of course, I've managed to successfully run it on 36 GB M3. So if you have got a machine like this, then you should be able to successfully run this particular software, which is AI town. Let's wait for it to install all the applications like Conda, Git and all the other things. Once this is done, the next step is for it to install the AI town application in itself. All the required applications and packages are successfully installed, including the final FFmpeg. Now is the time to install AI town and asks you where to do it. It is directly going to go download from the repo and install it. And after you see AI town, now you need to install the repo. So you have just this downloaded the repo, but you need to install the repo. So it says, okay, these are the softwares that are required. And there is only one thing that it needs to install again, which is Brew, which is like to install applications on Mac. After Brew is successfully installed, then the next step is it is going to install the AI town locally on your computer, which is exactly going to be a bunch of things. For example, Convex is something that it is going to install and it is going to install certain things like the files and folders of AI town for it to successfully be able to uh, use the virtual AI town. It's going to get from this particular repo. So if you are not very familiar with this, or if you're concerned about what kind of things it is going to download, you can go ahead. This is a forked version of the AI town and you can go see it is right now done. Then click OK. Once you click OK, now it is cloning the app, the actual AI town app. And as you can see, it started installing things, the exact things for AI town one by one. I'm not skipping a lot of steps. I'm going through one by one just to make sure that you do not miss it at any step and you get the same result like I have got. So as you can see, it is installing everything that is required for AI town. And once this installation is successfully done, we should be officially be able to run AI town in your local computer. Most of the files required for AI town is done. You have to go to the start tab. And the first thing that you need to do is if you do not have Olama, install Olama. In my case, I've got Olama and I've also managed to run Olama pull Llama 3, which is to pull the Llama 3 model. So if you do not have Llama 3, then you would have to get Llama 3. But in my case, it has been already done. So it's kind of going to make sure that Llama 3 is done. It is going to ask me to accept the connections for convex. After this is all done, as you can see here right now at this point, the AI town is successfully up and running. All you have to do is go to open web UI, which will open the web UI, the user interface of AI town. And you can click on an agent and you can start interacting with the agent. One, you can see all these agents. This is like a social structure. You can pop it out if you want. 
This is like a social structure where you can go chat with this agent. You can see the agent profile. This is basically me. So I'm, I'm, you can look, you can look at me. I mean, I, I look like this almost kind of, yeah, my hairstyle is like this. You can go see other agents in this social structure. You can strike a conversation with this one of the agent as well. So we're going to talk to Alice. Alice is a famous scientist. She is smarter than everyone else and has discovered mysteries of the universe. No one else can understand. As a result, she often speaks in oblique riddles. She comes across as a confused and forgetful. Okay, that is not really good. So once you want to talk to Alice, Alice comes near you, like closer to you, or you could have probably gone to Alice. So it's uh, it's it's up to you. You want to go to Alice, you want Alice to come to you. So however you want to do it. But once uh, she comes to you or once you go to Alice, you can see that uh, you have joined the conversation. Before that, you just read the profile of the person. Now you have actually joined the conversation. You can just go type whatever you want. Hey, how are you? And as you can see, Alice is typing and this is happening at this particular time. I was recording it at this time and you can actually notice that it is happening. You can go to the application, the Pinocchio application. You can see the terminal, what is happening, what is happening between all these agents. See, one thing that you need to remember is it's not just the agents that you're seeing. There are a lot of other agents in this AI town. So you would see what they are doing as well. But at this point, you are going to have a conversation with Alice and that is what you need to focus on. You can basically ask, Hey, how are you? Or whatever question that you want to ask. And Alice would start answering you and you can just click the speech bubble also to get to the conversation. Or if you want to go somewhere else, you can see, you know, uh, other agents as well. So ask the question to Alice and Alice is responding. Chrono synchronization. What's the frequency of your entropic resonance? That's the, that's the answer for my question. Are you Alice? Uh, can you talk in simple English? Okay. Uh, let's see what she's going to say. So she is typing quanta and waves. How do we reconcile the observer effect with the cosmic harmony? Okay. I gotta go Alice. I cannot talk to you anymore because it's confusing and it's not like I forget. So you can leave the conversation. Now you can find other agents and then you can see what they are capable of. You can see Lucky, you can see what is Lucky's profile and you can Pete, you can see Pete, Pete and Lucky are talking something else. You can zoom in, zoom out, you can travel around this AI town, see other agents and see what other agents are conversing. And this is all happening on your local computer. It is not a simulation, it is not a JSON file that has been pre-recorded. These people are talking at this particular point, at the time that you are seeing this conversation, this conversation is literally happening on your local computer and you can go to like you, me, uh, I can take myself to another agent and then go try to talk to the agent. You can close it if you are fine with that. If you want to leave the AI town, you can probably leave the AI town or you, you want to just say and then read other conversation to understand what these AI agents are talking, you can just stay there. Like you don't have to talk to somebody, but you can just read it. Like what is Lucky talking to Pete and what is somebody else doing? And it's quite a comprehensive AI don't You can go see who else is there. Stella is there. You want to talk to Stella? Yeah, you can talk to Stella. You can go to Stella or you can ask Stella to come. You can point it on the screen, click. So you will probably go to that particular agent and then you can strike a conversation. Overall, I think this is, uh, a technical marvel or technological marvel. This is absolutely amazing. The fact that I can run this on my local machine without any problem is quite mind blowingly brilliant. You may want to skip Pinocchio if you want. You can go to the main repo and then do it yourself if you want. But there are certain dependency issues like you have to make sure that you install Convex properly. You have to make sure that you install just uh, from NPM. So there are a lot of these dependencies that you need to sort out yourself. But if you don't want to do that. If you just want to go through the route that I've done, you can go to Pinocchio. It's an amazing application. I've been meaning to cover it for quite a long time. Finally, I got a chance to introduce Pinocchio to this channel. We'll probably see more. Like I said, you need to Olama and you can just finally at the end, you can go stop everything that has been happening here. Once you stop, it is not going to take on my Apple Silicon machine. My fan started spinning so hot. So you can expect that it is going to take a significant amount of compute for you to learn it locally. But otherwise you have got AI town, the most famous AI town when it was launched, it was super viral. That AI town is finally with you on your local computer. I link this repository also in the YouTube description for you to check it out. See you in another video.
happy prompting